Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for tuning in today. Um, for today's look, we are going to start off with my Puns Moisturizer, which I purchased from um, Dollar Tree. I'm going to put that all over my face using my e.l.f. Putty Primer Brush. And then I'm going to begin sculpting um, out my brows. I'm going to use an Amuse pencil. It's a double-sided pen pencil. One side is black and one side is brown. So I'll sharpen that up to make sure that it um, makes my eyebrows as crisp as possible. And I did go in with the NYX brow glue just to lay my natural brows down. And I'm gonna use my fan to dry them a little bit quicker. And then I'll begin sculpting my brows. So you'll see me going back and forth um, between the pencil and my spoolie. Um, I'm also going to use some Q-tips and alcohol to kind of clean up underneath. And all of this is a part of my actual <laughs> um, brow process. This is probably the longest part of my makeup application. And I can usually sculpt my left eye quicker than I can my right. For whatever reason. I guess because I'm right handed maybe. So I can use, um, it's easier for me to sculpt the left side than it is the right. I don't know. I've been trying to find a logic to it. I'm like, I'm using the same hand. <laughs> I guess that um, my left um, side is the better side. And once I get it sculpted to my liking, I'm going to use my Milani concealer to clean up underneath my brows. Um, the shade number for this concealer is 155. I'm looking for a brush to kind of move that concealer around and I just settled on a flat top or a flat brush. And then I'm using a Real Techniques buffing brush to brush it out. My eyelids tend to crease a lot, so you'll see me going back and forth um, buffing that concealer in. And sometimes I have to use a sponge um, just to make it as flat as I want it to be. Just using that Q-tip for my little final um, cleaning of the brows. And I'm trying to look in the camera as much as I can. My vanity mirror is actually positioned in front of me. And the way that my area is set up right now, um, my cameras and my ring light is on the side of that area. I'm going to use that Revolution um, eyeshadow primer in the shade Medium. And make sure that that's well blended to get ready for the eyeshadows that I'm going to use. And today I am going to play around with the um, Ace Beauté palettes. I have two of them that I recently purchased. And um, I kind of looked at the color story before I started the video. So I decided on the Oceanic palette. As I said, this is the longest part, so you'll see me going back and forth a couple of times. I 
I am going to use a brown from the, um, what is it, ColourPop Wild Child Palette as my transition shade. And I'm blending it out with a Jaclyn Hill brush. I'll make sure that I list um, all of the products that are used in this video down in the description box. And I fell in love with this color story with these different shades of blue. But I'm going to go in with Lagoon, which is that navy colored blue. I'm going to use that towards the um, outer corner. And then bring it in towards the middle part of my lid. And those little black blended, blending brushes are from BH Cosmetics. I've talked about those brushes in some, some of my other videos. Um, they're, they're actually some inexpensive brushes, but um, they're really good. So I'm just going back and forth, kind of adding color where I feel like color may have been lost. I am blending out <clears throat> shades um, that may look too harsh. And just trying to get all of the colors to be cohesive. Even though the colors and vibrancy is different, you want to all make it, you know, mesh mesh well together. So even sometimes colors that we wouldn't ideally put together, they look good together on your eyes. So that turquoise shade that I'm using is the shade Fiji. Um, and both of those are matte shades, but they do have some similar shades in the palette um, that are shimmery or shimmer shades. And then once I count, um, normally when I do my makeup, once I get my eye look together, um, I can then go in with my base. For some reason, um, it's hard for me to do my base and then go in to apply things to my eyelids. Maybe I'll get there one day, but right now this just works for me. So I'm gonna go in with this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And I like the tackiness of this primer, um, which is why I also purchased the um, Elf Power Grip, or yeah, Elf Power Grip. And I'm moisturizing my lips with the lip oil from Item Beauty. And I'm just gonna leave that on until I decide on what my lip products will be. I'm gonna use the Uma Foundation. And I'm applying that to my Real Techniques brush. And then I'm also going to blend it in um, with another Real Techniques brush. Actually, I think that first brush is um, Royal and Lang Nickel. It's a foundation brush, but it's just a flat brush. And then that second brush that I'm using, that wider brush, is the Real Technique. Um, I'm sorry, that's not a Real Technique. <laughs> um, it's a BH Cosmetics brush. And so what I'm doing is I make sure that I have evenly applied the product all over my face. And I want to also keep um, mixing or blending that in so that there won't be any streaks on my face. And when you initially apply your foundation, sometimes it looks a little off. Just give it a moment to oxidize and um, blend in with your skin tone. So I'm gonna go back in with that Milani Concealer, the 155 shade, but I'm also putting that darker shade, which is 170 at the bottom. And I do that because to me that makes it, the look is better um, from the transition of the lighter shade underneath my eyes to my foundation. So you'll have that brightening shade, and then you'll have that shade that's closer to your skin tone, and then your foundation. And 
and I've applied it underneath my eyes, my chin, and my forehead. That's the other palette that I have, which is the Flare palette. Now let that concealer um, dry down a little bit. And then I'm gonna mix um, or blend in my chin and my forehead first. And I'm using a flat top brush that's also BH Cosmetics, it's just another collection. And then I'll use the Real Techniques setting brush to blend in my concealer. And I do start from that darker shade at the bottom and work my way up and out. And then I'll go back over it with that foundation brush, not applying any new um, product, just using what's already on here. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> I'm going back in just adding, um, more eyeshadow where I feel like it may have been lost. And then going back over that concealer, making sure um, it doesn't crease. And sometimes when I put my foundation on, I may get a little in my brows. So I'm just going back in, making sure that that color is there. I'm using my Sephora Make No Mistake Foundation Stick. Um, it's in the shade Mahogany to contour with today. And I'm gonna use that um, Real Techniques Contour Brush. Sometimes I use the um, Morphe brush or a blender or blending sponge. And I'm contouring my nose first and then my forehead. And then I'll do my cheeks and my jawline. And depending on my eye look, um, sometimes I go a little bit lighter or cool toned with my contour or my bronzers. So I have some that kind of give off a more red or brickish shade. And then I have some that are like a chocolate colored brown. And um, both are pleasing to me. It just depends on my overall makeup look. Um, that's a powder bronzer that I'm going to use from LA Girl. And then I put some of my Uma Beauty um, Tripping Smooth Powder in that little canister. And I'm gonna use a powder puff to apply that underneath my eyes, my forehead, and my chin. Now, a lot of things that I do for my makeup application are optional. You don't have to use more than one concealer underneath your eyes if you don't want. Um, your makeup application, your makeup process is all about what you like and those things that are pleasing to you. It's not about what somebody else likes on you. I'm going in with a little bit more. And this blends in really well with that stick foundation that I use to contour. So you really don't um, have two different shades of product that you're putting right there.
and I really do like this eyeshadow. Um, it was on sale as the old formula because from my understanding, Ace Butte has a new formula, but I like this. It, was, it wasn't hard to put on or blend. And I'm gonna put a little bit a uh, pop of pink on my cheeks. I'm using that Jaclyn, uh, the Jaclyn Cosmetics Illuminating Blush. This is the shade Love of My Life. And this is just a fluffy brush that I purchased from Amazon. So I'm gonna go in with one application first and see how that looks. But you all know I love blush, so I'll definitely add more. And I'm just blending in the concealer down the bridge of my nose. I'm going to set my foundation with the finishing powder from the lip bar. And that's just a little brush that I purchased from Shein. It's just a, another fluffy brush. And I'm gonna add a little highlight uh, with the Fenty um, Pecan Swirler. And that highlight brush was purchased from Shein as well. So I did put some on my on the apples of my cheeks, on the tip of my nose, my forehead, my chin, and also on my brow bone. To line my um, waterline, I'm using my e.l.f. satin pencil. I'm going to put that pop of green um, underneath my lower lash. It's called Jellyfish. And I'm just using a bigger brush to make sure all of the powder, excess powder, is off of my face. And I did decide to put the ColourPop, I'm sorry, um, on a roll highlighter from Crayon Case in my inner corner for that little touch of pop. I'm opening up a new mascara that I purchased from uh, Dollar Tree, the Believe Beauty brand. Trying that out. And I'm actually using that on my lower um, lash as well. For my lips, I'm going to use the lip pencil from Sephora in the shade Molasses, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna use the Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick, which is also from Believe Beauty, and it it. it Oh, I can't talk today. It is in the shade Honey Blush. And I'm just going to put a little bit on and kind of pat it in with my lips. Spraying my face with that Sephora setting spray. Not putting on any eyelashes. It's about midnight. <laughs> and I'm about to take this off and go to bed. 
I hope that you all liked um, the video and that you enjoyed this look. For to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up. Turn on your turn on your post notifications. And I hope that you all have a great night. Continue to stay blessed. Thanks again for watching.